rhetoric. We have an occupational government that's occupying us that is foreign corporate central bank run. And they say in all their internal documents that are public that the number one enemy, again, is the American people who are not criminals. If you want basic freedom, you're an enemy because these are totalitarians and you stand in the way. They know that you at a fundamental level can't be bought off and won't sell out to tyranny. A year after Americans recoiled, see, that's meant to placate you. Oh, you recoiled. A year after Americans recoiled at new revelations that sick veterans were getting sicker while languishing on wait list. No, it was don't treat death list. Just like the National Health Service in England, the VA is the model of Obamacare where you will not get the treatment if you are seen as a veteran or old or a smoker. You go, well, yeah, we shouldn't have to pay in collectivism for smokers or obese people. That's how it starts. And then if you're politically correct, it doesn't matter if you weigh 600 pounds or were a smoker, you're going to get that liver or, or that lung surgery. But if you're a veteran, you're just not going to get it. A year after Americans recoiled at new revelations, sick veterans were getting sicker while languishing on waiting list. And months after the Department of Veterans Affairs instituted major reforms costing billions of dollars, government data shows the number of patients facing long waits at VA facilities has not dropped at all. <gasps> really? Because it's an official policy. Joe Biggs in our office went over and over again more than 10 times to even get a checkup, and they kept recirculating his file, saying they didn't have his file, go get his file. He'd say, excuse me, and grab the file. I ought to get him in there. He's told me the stories. He grabbed, you know, I think he's going there with a hidden camera. They grabbed the, he grabbed the file, and there was his file right there. Then he'd come back a week later. We got to do blood test again. We got to do blood test again. We got to do this other test again. And all of that accelerated once he started talking about the Michael Hastings case a few years ago. They clearly put you on political lists. Just like the IRS targets conservatives and Christians and gun owners and veterans and pro-lifers. This is a system where the government controls things and gives select corporations the contracts and then prays and persecutes and oppresses everyone who's not basically a party member of the collectivist system. And now the Democrats want a one-party system. They don't even want to have the Republicans to share power with anymore. They're moving to implode the borders and bring us in to a North American union where it's game over. And they just go over the VA's own whitewash report. And now they've changed the subject saying, well, we at least had the appointments, but the appointments aren't the test, aren't the surgeries. So there you go. That's how they take something so over-the-top evil and just turn it into some process like watching paint dry. And speaking of medical tyranny, mental health evaluation ordered for suspect in Sandy Hook harassing calls case. How do you pronounce this? Timothy Rogalski, 30, of Wallingford was going to put his son in the school, so he called four times and said, now you're not going to have any basically fake shooting drills, are you? And, you know, he, he wasn't threatening a shooting. They're not charging him with that. They grabbed him and put him in a mental institution and now put him on the news in chains like he's some type of criminal for daring to bring up the Sandy Hook fable. Story and video are up on Infowars.com. Now, I haven't gotten to any of the real news I'm going to cover yet. I just hit four or five stories. Here's what's coming up. There is so much to go over here. Yemen rebels gain, as Iran calls Saudi air campaign, a crime. Rand Paul up, Clinton down in 2016 presidential poll. We'll get more into that. The rise of China as a military power. Very important article. Doctors say Tickborn... Poasin virus is worse than Lyme's disease, CBS News. A big stack on the economic front we're going to be covering. Head transplant, Russian man to become first 
to undergo pioneering controversial surgery. I don't think that's true. I mean, Hillary Clinton had a horse's ass showed on a long time ago for a nose. So I don't know if this will be the first head. Hey, transplant. everyone. You know, Mark and I were talking the other day about Guns80.com and how people really want ghost guns. They want 100% privacy. So Guns80.com is allowing you now to call them, give your address, and they'll ship you out with a money order or some very private instrument. You can work that out with them. They'll ship you out a gun in a like a brown paper wrapper so no one even knows you have it. No records will be kept to be 100% private, but you got to call them. 844-2-GUNS-80, 844-248-6780. Who has over 65 seed varieties of 34 different vegetables? Down to Earth. Who has over 63,000 seeds packaged to last 50 years? Down to Earth. Whose seeds can be frozen to maintain germination? Down to Earth seeds. No hybrids, no GMOs. Just proven old-time seed varieties grown all over the country by our grandparents. Our kids have the best variety and the largest quantities of vegetable seed for the best price. Get your food security now at downtoearthseeds.com or call 870-427-3039. InfoWars Life and InfoWarsLife.com is extremely excited to announce our latest release, Winter Sun, a revolutionary type of vitamin D3. Winter Sun is a premium quality vitamin D3 nutritional supplement. It is produced by extracting oil from healthy, nutrient-dense plants known as lichens. Every batch is analyzed for purity and D3 content. It's completely free of toxins and allergens. Simply put, if you want the best at an extremely low price, this is it. Winter Sun is the result of our pursuit of the best source of vitamin D3. The research and development took over two years, but the result, as verified by independent laboratories, is the best vegan vitamin D3 product in the world. Read the facts at InfoWarsLife.com about Winter Sun Vitamin D3. Not only does vitamin D3 promote a healthy mood, but vitamin D supports our memory and brain function, something the globalists are targeting. Visit InfoWars.com today or call 888-253-3139. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Attention listeners, SurvivalLife.com is giving away free EverStrike permanent matches for a limited time only. These matches are waterproof and will light in any weather condition, rain, snow, or sleet. It will still throw a spark. Its built-in ferro rod strikes at 3,000 degrees, and it is good for 15,000 strikes. Normally, $15. Today, it's free. Get yours at freesurvivallighter.com. Again, that's freesurvivallighter.com. Hurry, supplies are limited. Visit freesurvivallighter.com today. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. InfoWars Nightly News reporter John Bowne has a very powerful report dealing with the fact that government neglect and not responding to crimes and on top of it trying to disarm the public is complicit in state-sponsored murder, basically, known by university research as democide. That's coming up. I want to get into the unfairness 
of American citizens, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, it doesn't matter, Native American, having to pay for Central and South American immigrants who are here illegally, and then the immigrants have the nerve to complain or now demanding their families be brought, which is part of the plan. And, and again, this is the over-the-top nature of how American hospitality is being used against us when we won't even give the veterans medical care because they're trained killers and the government's done with them. They want them to go fight and kill overseas for the globalist, but as soon as you come back, they fear you, they hate you. But if you come from socialist countries and will comply and get in line like Venezuela, the socialist Obama wants you. And by the way, historic poll, Obama is nearly twice as popular in Cuba as he is in the U.S. What a joke. What a sick joke. And again, people say, well, I thought he's a corporate fascist. Why is he a socialist or a communist? The paradigm that is taught in schools is not the real paradigm. When you get into deep political science written by Brzezinski or Carol Quigley or folks against him like the folks that wrote Nunder Call a Conspiracy, you learn that the ultra-rich create socialism and communism to control the grassroots and make you dependent. And they call it a people's paradise when it's a people's nightmare to centralize the power, generally to some offshore combine that is funding the communist or socialist regime. And that's the IMF World Bank. You see, the European countries are being brought into conservatorship and imploded into the EU itself that will then be imploded and rolled into the larger unified global government. That's the stated trilateralist plan. Just three days ago, Henry Kissinger wrote an open letter saying that. And on the heels of that, Larry Summers wrote one saying it. I mean, that's what's frustrating is I'm only telling you what they said they're doing. So why is the entire media attacking Rand Paul? Because they know he's a patriot. I mean, if I wanted to sound big and impressive, I'd tell you I've hung out and had dinner with Rand Paul, you know, 15 years ago. But I'm not going to do that because it doesn't even hurt him, his association with me. But I'm not even going to give Media Matters in the White House what they want. They hate Rand Paul regardless because they know he's not a criminal like them. And Leanne McAdoo's got a breaking update on him doubling down his rhetoric, not backing down when they attack him. How dare you not want partial birth abortion? What, do you want to kill seven-pound babies, the doctor said? Here's Leanne's report. The Associated Press tried to corner Senator Rand Paul on abortion Wednesday by asking him to state definitively which exceptions to a ban he'd support. When Paul danced around the question, the AP dutifully sent the story out, hoping that the rest of the media would continue asking him about his stance. And that's exactly what happened at a presser yesterday afternoon. But this time, Paul was ready for them. I just want to know where you do stand on exemptions. Should there be any exemptions for abortion or not? What's the DNC say? Why don't we ask the DNC, is it okay to kill a seven-pound baby in the uterus? You go back and you ask Debbie Wasserman Schultz if she's okay with killing a seven-pound baby that is just not yet born yet. Ask her when life begins. Exactly. And you ask Debbie when when she's willing to protect life. When you get an answer from Debbie, come back. The DNC head responded rather quickly. In an emailed statement, Wasserman Schultz said, here's an answer. I support letting women and their doctors make this decision Man, without ugly. government getting involved. Period. End of story. Usually get it, but why are Social these media was on fire. So People quickly responded asking if the Democratic Party was united in this extreme stance. After all, if you say you want abortion handled without government getting involved, it means you want zero government restrictions, right? I mean, well, except for those government subsidies. Now, Senator Paul then crushed it with this reply. Well, it sounds like her answer is yes, that she's okay with killing a seven pound baby. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you approach the abortion debate with a partisan media. This is Leanne McAdoo reporting, and you can read more about this story and others at Infowars.com. That's right. And, and see, he's not backing down. So in the Washington Post and scores of other publications, they say he's angry, he's upset, he's got a problem with women. They're starting that new mindless narrative, still acting like he's running against Hillary.
They're scared of him, folks. So we should all go vote for Jeb Bush because they like him. We're on the march.